What up, my gangsters? Yo, guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Obus Scanty here. So, playing PSP games on your Android device has always been a thing of questionability. A lot of people say, well, can I do it? And I'd be like, no, you can't. But now, we're all wrong because it is possible to play PSP games on your Android device thanks to an app called PPSSPP. Now, before this video receives over a thousand dislikes and tons of comments of WTF, this doesn't work, you suck! Before all that happens, let me just say that this app is still pretty new, therefore the PSP games that are compatible with it are very slim. It's only about a handful of games that are truly compatible with it so far. But that doesn't mean that you should not try it because unless it's still a great application and as time goes on, this app will become better and more compatible with the newer and more 3D games. So to do this, you'll need a following. First, a DC Android device. If your device is made in the past few years, then you should be fine. And next you need at least an ISO or CSO version of the game you want to play. And of course, Google Search is your best friend for that. And that's pretty much it. So, let's get this started. Open source gangster, hey! Okay guys, so we're here with the app PPSSPP. As I said, you can get it within the Android market. So let's open it up. Okay, upon opening up, we have this beautiful start screen. And then we're uh, presenting with some options. So immediately what we want to do is go to load. And first what we want to do is load the ELF file. And the reason why we want to do that is if the ELF file opens, then you know your device is compatible with it. So let's do that. So cube ELF, open that. There we go. So once you open up the ELF file, if it opens and you see this cube, then you know your device is very well compatible with it. If this doesn't play, then your device is probably not compatible with this at the time. Okay, now we're going to open up the game, Hubble Buzzle, Pocket.CSO. Let's go open that. Come on, click. Yeah. And we are right now booting up. Now let me tell you, to find the CSO ISO is the most difficult part of this whole thing because there's only a small amount of games that are compatible. And it was very difficult to find a CSO or ISO, <laughs> that was compatible. So let's go to start. And yeah, this is all in Japanese and I have no idea what it says, so huh, I'll just pretend I know that I can read this. Okay, so as far as FPS is concerned, it's not, I mean, it is pretty okay, but once again, this is just basically a 2D game, so not much to expect here. So let's just try to go and. Here we go. Oh, this gets really fun. So let's try to go over here. Yeah, not too much. Oh no. Some lag right there. As you can see. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, please excuse my voice. I'm just like getting over cold, so I'm like sounding really harsh. Um, but it's really not too much. I mean, right now, this game, this whole app is in early development. So. The list of games compatible with it, it's just a small amount, really. But over time, hopefully it'll expand, and there'll be more stuff going for it. But I mean, it's still a neat thing to say, like, wow, PSP games can work on an Android device. It's all around neat, and just a cool thing. <laughs> Everything seems to be working, sounds working, and graphics are working. Like I said, don't expect any 3D games just yet. This is still a work in progress, and it's still going to take some time. So this has been PPSSPP. It's a PSP emulator. I highly suggest you download it and check it out and have fun with it. It's available free to play in the Android market and just all around awesome. So thanks for watching and tune in for another Gaudenzen video. Thanks.